Hey guys, it's Kelly. Good morning. Welcome to my bathroom. I just woke up and I set up my camera because I want to show you guys uh, my masking routine. Masking, sheet masking, wash off masking. No, I mean my COVID masking routine. You know, my skin was doing fine wearing a mask out in public until summer hit and then it became an issue. You know what I mean? Um, all of the heat and humidity and then covering up the lower part of my face has really agitated my skin so I've definitely had to adapt my routines for the days that I am wearing a mask because uh, my skin concerns are totally different so I wanted to show you guys first of all my morning routine prepping for wearing a mask all day long that's what we're about to do and then um, I'm gonna go out I'm gonna run my errands I'm probably gonna get really irritated on my skin and then I'm gonna show you guys my nighttime routine that's all about repairing and recovering from mask wearing so if you are so ready to find out what I do pre and post mask wearing, give the video a big thumbs up and let's get started. So I'm gonna wash my face. As many of you guys know, I do not use cleanser in the morning. It tends to just take a little bit too much moisture and hydration from my face if I use cleanser twice a day. So in the morning time, I just wash with warm water and a washcloth. It's plenty for me to get off excessive oil um, and any kind of sweat that might have like, you know, built up on my skin overnight. This is actually pretty good pre-mask wearing as well because really the goal here is just to maintain as much hydration and moisture on the skin being very gentle. So this routine is all about oil water balance. You know, I really want to make sure that I balance out my skin, but I want to pack in a ton of hydration. For me, what's really cropping up right now is dehydration, lots of dehydration, inflammation, and some pimples. Um, but what I want to do pre-mask is I just want to pack my skin with hydration so I can fight the, the trans epidermal water loss. So first up, I'm starting off with the Primera Miracle Seed Essence. This is a hydration bomb. I love this stuff so, so much. It's very replenishing. And not only is it hydrating, it's actually a little bit balancing for the skin too because the lotus seed extract in this essence actually has some really good barrier supportive ingredients in it as well. Now, I know that this essence is technically meant to go on after toner. Just go with me on this one. For whatever reason, my skin loves this first and toner afterwards. It almost boosts my toner's like hydration benefits. Lately, I've been using the Benton Snail Be High Content Skin. And what I really like about this one is the texture particularly. It's very light, it's very watery. It sinks into my skin really quickly. And what's great about that is I'm gonna be layering this up quite a bit, uh, really getting my hydration levels very high. Okay, layer number two. What I like about really light and watery products, especially in the morning time, is they absorb quickly. You know, I'm not waiting around for heavy layers to sink in and absorb into my skin or waiting so that I can apply some makeup. You know, this is really like, this may seem like a lot of products for the morning, but it goes by very quickly. And I'm going in for my third layer, and I think this is gonna be the final layer. Sometimes I do more, but um, right now my skin is feeling really plump and I have a few more hydrating products to go. And I've chosen the Beauty of Jozan Calming Serum. This features green tea and panthenol. So there's a couple things that I really like about this one for pre-masking. Number one, it's very hydrating. It's got a really nice, lightweight, breathable texture that packs a hydration punch. Number two, it's very anti-inflammatory. Green tea, really good to calm and soothe the skin. And really the texture is just awesome because it, it's fantastic for the morning time. It just absorbs into the skin so quickly um, and so, so fast. And honestly, I'm always running late. So I appreciate a fast absorbing skincare product. So, so far I've just been focusing in on hydrating products, but I'm gonna get a little bit of moisture at the end of my routine. It's really important um, when you're balancing, especially for dehydration, when you're balancing that out, you do need to pack the hydration in, but you also need to add in the moisture because that's what helps keep it there. That's what really helps fight the dehydration from occurring again and again. You really wanna hug hydration into your skin. So I am gonna go in for a little bit of 
of facial oil, which might be surprising to you after I just said I want to do something really light. This is Stratia Fortify. So I'm just putting a very small amount of this oil right around my mouth, uh, my chin area, my upper lip, uh, a little bit around my nose up here too, because that is the area that is just freaking out the most from mask wearing right now. And much as the, the product would suggest Fortify, this is a product that does really help strengthen the moisture barrier. It's a beautiful fatty acid facial um, oil blend. Now I do have just a little bit of extra oil left over here on my hand and I am going to go in for a, like half a pump of another Stratia product, the Liquid Gold. This is um, a ceramide um, and cholesterol and fatty acid kind of like creamy moisturizer blend. Um, so I'm actually just mixing it in with the oil. The nice thing about mixing these products is it actually keeps the layer really light. And I'm just applying this over the rest of my face and a little bit over that chin area too. But when you mix the products, always remember that in a way you're kind of diluting them a little bit as well, right? Your skin is going to be receiving just a little bit less, like 50% less if you had done like one layer of oil, one layer of Fortify. And in this instance, that's actually pretty good because my goal is to keep things light, but I'm still delivering some of those really barrier supportive ingredients into my routine without overwhelming my skin and making it really thick and heavy. Now, I totally get that this combination of products is not gonna be perfect for everybody. You know, this feels really nice and light and breathable to me. It may not for some people. I totally understand that. Really the concept here that really opened my eyes up on how to treat my skin, especially with some sort of localized irritation where the mask sits, is do not be afraid to treat your kind of masking skin area differently than the rest of your face. Feel free to put different products in that area. Feel free to layer up multiple times just in that area alone. Remember that this area only is kind of going through a different condition than the rest of your skin, right? When I take my mask off, I always feel real localized dehydration just here. But my like forehead, my nose, and even my cheeks are actually feeling really balanced and normal. So just don't be afraid to treat that area just a little bit differently. So I am going to go in for another moisturizer. I just need something that's a little bit more occlusive than the oil and the liquid gold is. So I'm going in for the Claire's Fundamental Water Gel Cream. It does have some occlusivity to it. It does have that protective element that really helps lock down your skincare without oppressing your skin, without feeling too thick on the skin. Plus I really like it because it actually has a little bit of hydration to it along with some moisture. It's a really nice balance. And as I said before, you know, this, this routine is really about balancing out the oil and water on the skin. So this is a really great moisturizer, very, very lightweight, so summer friendly. And I did want to keep that moisturizer layer still really light because I am still going in with sunscreen. Yes, you still have to wear sunscreen. And yes, you still have to wear underneath your mask too. So one that I've been reaching for a lot, particularly for mask wearing, because it has such a light and breathable texture is the Keep Cool and Soothe Bamboo Sun Essence. What I really like about this sunscreen is that it dries down really quickly because I am going to go in for a little bit of makeup. Now, I'm not gonna wear any base makeup. I do not recommend wearing any kind of face like foundation, BB creams, nothing. Don't wear anything like that underneath the mask if you can help it. You just, you really wanna give your, your skin the best shot at being able to breathe and you don't want those cosmetics getting stuck into your pores and mixing with all the sweat and the, you just don't want it. <laughs> so that's the routine, you know, really focus on lots of hydration, gentle products and some light moisture to help lock it all in and hug it to the skin. Plus you can never forget your sunscreen to protect your skin. So I'm gonna go zhuzh up, I'm gonna fix my hair, I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup up, change my clothes, head out the door. Okay, so I am going to the optometrist and then um, I'm gonna go to this like cafe place that has like really good pastries. Um, so I am about to put my mask on. Okay, so in my purse I have like my little like container, container, a little pouch thingy with like my PPE, you know, my, my coronavirus accessories. Hand sanitizer, Benton, shea butter, hand cream. I don't know, guys. I bought this off oh, yes style. Um, it's like one of those things where you can, like, press the buttons with this, like, grab handles and stuff. Oh, there's, like, a 
hair on there that's like really gross okay but what I really wanted to show you was this which looks pretty crappy because I've had it for a while now this is just like a mask case and I got this from YesStyle too and this has been so handy because it's pretty thin it just slips into my purse and then you can keep your mask contained in here and um, there it is. I really like this brand. I cannot remember what it's called right now, so I'm just gonna put it in the info box. Um, but I like this because it's a little different material. It's not a cotton mask. I don't know if you can tell, but it's almost like more of like a spongy, I have no idea what this is called, like a more spongy kind of material. I like this mask uh, for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's purple. <laughs> so that's always fun. What I really like about it is that it's breathable. Um, I don't mind cotton masks, but I just find that in the summertime when it's really hot and it's really humid, and especially if my allergies are flaring up, my sinuses are already a little swollen, it is a little bit more difficult. You know, it is, it is a little bit more difficult to breathe. So I like this style because it's, um, I don't know, I just feel like I can breathe in it better. Um, especially for just like light air and running, um, this kind, I really like this. Um, yeah. All right. So let's go. Can we do a, a one lemon and one raspberry macaron as well? Look, I have new glasses. <laughs> I just picked up my glasses and got some pastries and I am sweating under here. You know, the thing about mask wearing is it can flare up different things for different people on your skin. But basically you just have this like continuously moist environment um, happening underneath your mask so you can expect things like increased irritation inflammation pimples barrier problems dehydration right and really the best thing to do is just cleanse as soon as you get home or like as soon as you can it's just you want to get anything that is just getting stuck and trapped on your skin and all the dried sweat and oils we just gotta get it out of there. Look at how moist my skin. I just took my mask off. Like, look at like all the sweat. Girl, so gross. I can't wait to wash my face. Ugh. Okay, I am back and I am ready to start my nighttime routine. And oh my goodness, it's like so hot. I got so sweaty when I took off that mask. My skin feels really gross. So I'm so excited to wash my face. Now, um, I, when I took the mask off, I definitely noticed that I got a little whitehead here on my chin that just popped up and I can feel some other little like cloggies, like little clog pores or something starting um, on my chin area. And it is getting a little bit red. You saw when I took off the mask, I had like sweat droplets around my face. I mean, I've got sunscreen on all my old skincare, right? So it's good to get a nice deep, deep clean. I'm going to go in for the Cioris Fresh Moments cleansing oil first. I like it because it does have a little bit more moisture to it. It's a little bit more emollient and nourishing oil blend. So it feels really good, especially where my skin is feeling just a little bit more dehydrated and a little bit more irritated. It uh, definitely feels very soothing. Oh my gosh, I feel better already. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm just going in for the Hamish now and I like this cleanser. The texture is so interesting. I mean, look, I don't know. If, can you see that? Do you see how it's almost like more balmy than like a gel? I really like how this feels. It doesn't feel thick on the skin, but it does have just like that really gentle, non-stripping feel that I just love. Um, but it does clean effectively and it washes cleanly too. Oh, just that satisfaction of cleaning your skin at the end of the day, especially in the summertime. I can't beat it. You know, it's the simple pleasures in life. I'm definitely feeling it around my chin now that my skin is like bare and exposed. So I'm going to go in for one of my really, really favorite calming and soothing products. This is like mwah, for uh, irritated skin. You know it, Misha Time Revolution um, Artemisia Treatment Essence. Now with this one, um, you can just put this on straight after cleansing, just like you would a toner or an essence, but I'm going to get a little bit fancy tonight and just kind of treat my skin. And I'm going to use some five layer cotton to make a really quick mask pack. Cotton Labo Selena, five layer cotton. You can get this like on YesStyle or Amazon. I love this and it's really affordable too. And you just soak the, the cotton 
with the essence and it is you know it's gonna use a little bit of extra product i'm just kind of like trying to move it out to the corner so i don't like waste too much product because this stuff's expensive it's just like a, a sheet mask so you're just really um letting it get in there deep really soak into this soak into the skin <laughs> i'm like already excited to put this on my face peel the cotton away and what i particularly like about this brand of cotton is you can actually um kind of stretch it a little bit so you can get it to kind of fit like your cheek area a little better you get more coverage oh my god it smells so good i love the smell of mugwort oh yes my chin needs it you could do a couple of things so i've got one square here i'm really irritated right here but i also want to get a little bit around my nose and so for this one i'm actually just gonna rip i'm gonna rip it in half so there you go and then just leave it on like three to five minutes so as i let this soak into my skin i am gonna head over into my vanity area so i'll meet you over there i lost some of my <laughs> um my five layer cotton when i was setting up the camera it just kind of fell off um but already i can feel my skin just feels less dramatic a little bit more calm um maybe a little bit less red uh, especially around the chin area i feel like it just it did the trick, you know what I mean? So now I'm going to go in for lots of hydration. I got to I gotta quench that thirsty dragon. Benton Snail Bee High Content Skin. Just like the other Snail Bee products, this has snail in it. The toner actually features some green tea water as well. Um, there's a little bit of peptide in this toner, I think. Um, some niacinamide, some really great anti-inflammatory ingredients. So it's hydrating. It's soothing. It's also going to calm down inflammation on the skin but it's still very very gentle so I do really like this one um, other great toners that you can use uh, the keep cool and soothe bamboo toner is excellent um, and I really like the soon Jung uh, relief toner as well okay so I'm just finishing up the third layer of toner and really what I am doing is I'm just kind of like tuning into what my skin is telling me um, it actually is feeling really like hydration wise, very satisfied after these three layers. So I'm not going to do any more, but sometimes my skin does ask for a little bit more. So I just try to tune in and see like what it's telling me, um, what it needs in that particular moment. And right now three is the magic number for me. Okay. I'm like looking at my skin and I'm seeing like all this inflammation that's popping up. I've got like a pimple, like a little white head coming up here and I can feel some little bumpies, like little congestion here. I got like a red thing happening under my nose plus I can see this like little lump <laughs> starting up here I'm like seriously like just one afternoon of mask wearing and my skin like freaks out I'm gonna go for a one-two punch with two of my like really trusty gentle but anti-inflammatory products so first up this is uh, by wish trend the quad active boosting essence I love this stuff so this has um, quite a bit of different extracts that are really good at soothing the skin calming redness inflammation that are antibacterial but still very very gentle it just sinks into the skin really really nicely it's a good way to get a nourishing layer that's light and breathable in the summertime so that just sunk right into my skin i love this essence and i've found that it's really nice to combine it with another propolis product and one that i've been using a lot lately is from beauty of Jozan. this is the um the glow serum so it's a mixture of propolis and niacinamide and this is really great because propolis is another one of those great anti-inflammation ingredients niacinamide really good actually for your moisture barrier if you didn't know but it's also going to bring a little bit of that glow to the skin i did a, a full review by the way the review i did on this one it was sponsored i'm not obligated to even be using these products let alone talking about them now but i am actually just still like loving these serums but this one in particular has been really good for pimples because when i when i start to see like the white hat right here on my chin when I use this, like more often than not, when I wake up the next morning, it's gone. Or it's just like, it's on its way to like healing. So I've been really impressed with this one for acne particularly and for these situations where I'm feeling that inflammation on my skin, especially when we combine it with the By Wish Trend. It's like super, super powerful and yet still really gentle. Okay, I'm gonna quickly put on some eye cream. I didn't, I'm not like really featuring this, but it's the Claire's. Um, um, fundamental uh, watery 
what is this called? Oh, eye awakening gel. And now I just want to really focus on getting in those good moisture barrier supportive ingredients because when you are feeling dehydration on your skin, it is a sign that your moisture barrier is not exactly doing what it needs to do. Maybe it's getting just a little bit weak. With all of that like recycled air underneath the mask, all of that humidity, all of that sweat, it does kind of start to zap the hydration from the skin. So I just want to make sure that I'm going in and I'm really replenishing my moisture barrier and really uh, keeping it strong. So you guys know this is this is nothing new. My favorite barrier products are the Stratia Liquid Gold and I really like their Fortify Oil as well. Now, I always start in with the oil first. I actually do like to put this oil all over my face, but first I'm just gonna do like one really good layer right around the affected area just to give it that really good treatment. And already I can feel on my skin just how, I just love how this makes my skin feel. It just like, it makes it kind of go like, ah, like it just soothes it so much with just really beautiful moisture. Now um, I am gonna do a quick little layer of liquid gold uh, centralized in that area too because this has got all those good ceramides, cholesterol, fatty acids that really are the the essential components of your moisture barrier to keep it really nice and strong. Now that I've just treated this area, I'm just going to do like a quick little drop of Fortify mixed in um, with a little half pump of um, liquid gold on the rest of my skin. Okay, I am looking a little bit like a glazed donut right now and isn't that kind of the goal? <laughs> kind of. Um, yeah, I am a little bit uh, shiny right now and you see how I went a little bit more moisturizing, a little bit more nourishing tonight. Whereas in the morning, knowing that I was gonna have to wear the mask, I went a lot lighter because I didn't want those thick and heavy layers plus all the humidity and the sweat and the moisture and the mass pressing up against my skin. I didn't want that. Um, I want to give my skin the best chance to just be really light and breathe and not be too super occlusive. So this is, I'm kind of making up for that in my nighttime routine and I'm really allowing my skin to repair itself and replenish itself. And of course, I'm finishing off my routine with the Illyune Ado Ceramide Concentrate Cream. I cannot help myself, guys. This is just the one that I reach for all the time, particularly when my skin is vulnerable. And really, after prolonged mask wearing, when it's not quite feeling right, your skin is vulnerable, and you really just want to go in for your trusty products. And this, for me, is very trusty. It has that right type of texture where it is it is quite nourishing and moisturizing without being really thick and heavy on the skin without being like very greasy or anything like that um, so it's actually gonna work still even though I am a little bit more oily on my forehead it still works in that area but it also helps replenish the more vulnerable sort of chin uh, area right now and this does have the ceramides cholesterol and fatty acids so this is really kind of enhancing all of the barrier care that we've done in this routine so I'm editing the video and I forgot to say this and I really wanted to which is if you're feeling like like a lot of prolonged irritation in the masking area you can put on a sleeping pack at night and you can just put this on the area that you feel irritation in the mask area I like this one from Purito it's the Dermide Sika barrier sleeping pack as the name suggests barrier supportive with ceramides it's got a lot of centella in it it's a beautiful creamy nourishing texture another little tip that I like is Sika cream this is the Misha near skin made canal cream and this is really good because you can like during the day, if you're feeling all of that irritation throughout the day, put a little layer of this on um, around the area that's affected. You can even like, if you have to wear your mask all day long, if you can like get away to like a bathroom or something, slip your mask off, put a little bit of this on, put your mask back on. This brings a lot of relief to the skin and it's affordable. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, this is actually the first video I filmed like with my Invisalign in. What? Yes. So hopefully I didn't sound too strange. It is kind of weird speaking so much with them in. Um, I am curious to know, how are you guys doing with wearing a mask? Like how's your skin doing? Has it been okay? Has it been a disaster? Um, like 
how are you adapting? So let me know in the comment box below. If you enjoyed the video, uh, it was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to my channel. I release two new Korean skincare focused videos every single week. Turn on notifications because sometimes I drop more than just two videos a week. It's been known to happen occasionally. So I hope you guys are happy. I hope that you are being healthy and safe wearing your mask and I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Thank you.